Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a little bit late, so we're gonna do some late night reactions, okay? Also because I do have to catch up on some stuff. Y'all know I love Tea Spill. I love the channel. She really breaks it all down for me, and like so that I don't have to. I like to watch her videos so I can get to like the highlights of all the drama. But anyways, we're talking about Kylie Jenner and something called Cake Gate. I wonder if she named it that, or is that that's what it's called. Let me see. What can I, let me go to the comments first. A billion. Somebody said a billionaire doesn't have the funds for a cake. Is she making cake? I'm a, I'm astonished at how many businesses don't require deposits for celebrities. Seriously though, they can get away with a lot of stuff. I like how when it comes to Time Magazine, she's a billionaire, but when it comes to F and Cake, she is poor. <laughs> what? The bottle is just basic. Okay. Or maybe it's like um, she do makeup, so maybe this is like a cake themed makeup. I don't know y'all it's like I just got the shower and like the eyebrows aren't on right now okay so don't talk about me I just didn't want my glasses I wanted my glasses on but y'all can see right through it and ain't got time for that so we just go let's just react to it let's get into this reaction Kylie Jenner just announced her newest business and you guys know it another be business a launch without some drama but it's pretty and though it all has to do with cake it's a mess, She's, so let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. She's making cakes? Last week, Kylie posted a photo dump to Instagram showing different photos from her life lately. And in the last photo, there was a blueprint of what some people are theorizing to be a perfume bottle. Kylie Cosmetics okay. even commented on the picture writing, last pick. And everyone knew that this was an... Okay, I see a water jug. Or That's what I see. Jeez, people really do that. But you know what? The first thing I want to say... If she did this, it's a fragrance right there. It's obviously um, <laughs> perfume, but the detail they go for this like blueprint. Let's give her credit because that is crazy. What does it say on here? Kylie fragrance. Seriously, they're like a jug. What is this? Crayons anti defense. Yeah, the stuff they go into businesses. Let me take notes. It's gonna be the soft launch of her next product. Now you guys know whenever there's any kind of new business from any of the Cardenner sisters, there's going to be some drama. That's true. Usually it has to do with accusations of them ripping off a smaller business, but this time it has to do with cake. There's a very well-known cake maker on Instagram called okay. Yip Studio, and they're famous for a certain aesthetic when it comes to cake design. If you know about Yip Studio and you see one of her cakes somewhere, okay, first of all, but they look so beautiful. Oh my god, I want it. I, I want that. And I don't even like strawberry frosting, y'all. But that looks so yummy. Okay, so she's ripping off somebody. That's what we got going on. <laughs> Can you usually tell right away that it's Ooh. a Yip Studio cake. So where does Kylie come into all of okay, this? Okay, because she's been known well, for stealing a lot of stuff recently. actually reached out to Amy from Yip Studio to create a cake for the launch of Kylie's perfume. Okay. Excited about the opportunity, Amy cleared her schedule. She stopped taking orders from others to yeah, make room for Kylie's already. order. She put together rough drafts and vision boards to show what the cake would look like. And then she once got her Kylie's tea. team found out how much the cake would cost, they told her they didn't have the funds and wouldn't be needing her services. Frustrated over her experience with Kylie's okay, team. Okay, first of all, before we talk about that, can we talk about the cakes? Look at the... Okay, so now I'm getting... I know her style of cakes. This is so freaking cool. Oh my god. But yeah, okay, how rude. That's now that's what people are talking about. You ain't got the funds for a cake. Pay this girl how many of y'all made her. She cleared her schedule for this. Like gave y'all time. It just this is just so y'all but I'm about to say it distasteful. It's so distasteful and it's so unprofessional. And then they it's like the celebrities don't want to come out and it's like y'all wanted this girl to do this and she cleared her schedule for this and y'all let me i wish i could bring my light like oh, i wish i could bring it this is my light wish i could bring it right here but i cannot you know i ain't got nothing to hang it on but this would have been perfect <gasps> even better what the they don't have the funds for to pay this woman i can or they just don't want to well no they said they, they didn't have the funds just so messed up Amy took to Instagram and exposed everything. Exposed she them. She started off with a story which showed an email from Kylie's team which reads, R-E-L-A Kardashian slash Jenner event inquiry. Hi, Amy. We actually just heard back today and they won't have the budget to accommodate. And Amy wrote, I spent hours making a deck for them without any kind of deposit or dime. They can only afford what? a cheap slash bad knockoff apparently. Now the knockoff so they got a knockoff kick. Somebody is actually a cake that Kylie posted a few months ago, celebrating her clothing line Kai's birthday. 
Amy then showed the vision board that she spent time putting together to give Kylie's Are team you a visual of what the cake would look like. And she That's wrote, what the cake is like. I had to make this whole deck because apparently they couldn't oh, imagine a so pink cake pretty. based on images I sent them of pink cakes. I even showed them examples of how I've worked with other clients and did not even upcharge them. That is so now, cool. Now, this is where things get a bit messy. Amy shared that Kylie's team saw her Instagram stories and we'll asked her to take them down writing cool. they're asking me to take this down but and then she put that up. any nda had they said something like we are not doing desserts anymore then i would be like okay and had they also not already gotten this knockoff in the past i'd be annoyed that i wasted my time making the deck but i'd be fine but the price at diet prada please assist also that cake is not all that back there the one that they went with the one i guess that was like somebody made that at home but like Kylie, you're a billionaire. Y'all want, and if that's their business, but to, I think that um, to have that girl like do a cake would have been so freaking cool. Not like, you know, for their team, because her style is look amazing, but also for her. That's just so messed up. Y'all ain't have the funds to accommodate the audacity. They just didn't want to. That's what it is. I was reached out to over a month ago and I told them the price after the first email. How much was I it? I even tried to hold off on orders mid next month because I was excited by the opportunity. I was even willing to have it coincide with a pop up in LA so that I would be able to cover the cost of travel and accommodation myself. Now, now okay, that's and it's crazy that she had to do all that, you know, trying to get all this stuff together. But people just really start just because they celebrities don't be don't put them high up them they should be like paying up front okay you they should people should start like with their businesses people should really start making everybody even celebrities i don't care who they are we don't care if you're a kardashian like get the hell out of here it's your business they need to start making people pay up front before you put all this time and stuff in before doing the work because they really do get over on you y'all these celebrities they be getting over on people and you just can't trust them now, a lot of people were wondering why Kylie's team was trying to get her to remove her story. Kylie has right? been accused of many things during launches in the past, no, we but know. we rarely hear yeah, about not original. and asking for the content to be removed. Usually, Kylie will get some backlash, but and be like, eventually Girl, no. it will pass, and her team probably figures that trying to get someone's post exposing Chris? them removed would just draw even more attention to it. But this was different. You see, in the story where Amy showed the vision board, people are saying that this was actually a leak of Kylie's perfume. At this point, all we ever saw from Kylie was then the they put that together. <laughs> we never saw the name or the colors or the oh. pictures of the perfume. So Amy had posted on her IG stories about the situation on Tuesday, and now it makes sense why Kylie and her team were scrambling for Amy to take these down. But I would still be like, well, y'all should have paid me. <laughs> y'all give my money for making this cake, and then I will take it down. But that is, since we're looking at it, that's a cool bottle. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay, I too see why they told her to bring it out and take it down. But it's like, it's out now, girl. It's too late. But that is like a full-on leak. And But it, is it me or is that not up already? Why? She should have scrolled down to her part. I see it under there. But yeah, that's a full-blown full, full blown leak. <laughs> but they should have paid her. So, I don't care. Do her story showing the deck she had made for the event planner to show like what kind of cake she could make for Kylie. But in the story, Amy also showed that Kylie Jenner had a perfume coming out called Cosmic. But she already said she had a perfume coming out. We just didn't know what it looked like. Perfume Cosmic, which comes out March the 7th. And with all these floors and this particular shot right here, it makes sense why the event planner reached out to Amy. This image of Kylie right here literally looks like Amy's cakes. And Amy did end up deleting oh, her so stories, pretty. even though a lot of people were siding with her. A lot of people were calling out the fact that Kylie's a billionaire, and for her team to say the cake was out of their budget How much is the cakes? Cheap. Many people felt like Kylie's team was most likely expecting her to give them a free cake just for the opportunity of working with Kylie, with one person writing, As a baker myself, thank you for standing your ground. Bakers do not accept exposure bugs. Seriously. We do not pay our bills with that kind of yeah, money. Yes. But some comments are saying that this is more on Amy for not asking for a deposit before starting all this work and pointing out the fact That's that Kylie is. had no obligation to move forward with Yip Studio. Writing, so basically she did a vision board and was upset that they didn't follow through. I think she saw the big celebrity name and got ahead of herself. So Kylie was obligated to buy it. 
It sounds like they just submitted an inquiry, not a booking. That's totally normal. It sounds like she just got overly excited without commitment and hurt her own feelings. Girl, she shut up, Brixie, whatever her name was. But yeah, I kind of get that though. <laughs> I kind of get it. It's like, she, I, like y'all, I, like I said before, it's like you definitely got to start asking up stuff up front. You don't know what can change, especially when you cancel appointments, cancel travel trips, like cancel all this stuff to like accommodate a big celebrity you don't know if they gonna go off of it like she did it's like yeah that's definitely kind of on her but then i'd be like i will be i was i'm still mad at the like the team that'd be like y'all can't pay her for like she y'all told her to do it she's doing it y'all asked her if she can make a cake it's like she, that's uh, somebody said that it's not like an inquiry no they asked her to do the cake they asked her and she agreed then later on they said no it's just it's bad on both ends but yeah definitely ask you need to ask money up front should have asked for a deposit before doing all this amy did end up oh, the addressing the so fact that freaking she pretty her stories how and much are these cakes Kylie herself reached out to her and she said going forward she's going to make sure that she asked for a deposit before doing any That's work it. she wrote it's wild that I have over a thousand responses and almost 25,000 people viewing this story. I've read through some of them and many others have had similar experiences in all different creative industries. I've since taken down a few of the images after receiving a message from Kylie herself. At this point, enough people have seen it. I don't feel bad anymore. I guess I didn't want to seem petty or difficult to work with by telling my story. In fact, I was agreeable the entire time, to the point that I feel ashamed at how naively I invested my time. And lesson learned, no more free pitches. No more free that pitches, girl. Or consultation fee. Consultation no fee, seriously. i girl in New York City trying to hustle with a side gig, making cakes Her so cakes that are I don't gorgeous. have to work a mind-numbing corporate job, tethered to it with a visa. I actually have a pretty successful full-time business and some lovely yeah. and interesting fans and clients. Screw the celebrities, girl. Go to um, Ace of Cakes. You're already up there. You're like beyond ace or cake she went beyond all of this like she's up there top notch like that was like some of the best cakes i've ever seen i like her style and i really want one but i'm pretty sure i probably can't afford that them, them, them things look expensive she also says <laughs> that gorgeous. despite what people were speculating on Kylie did not pay her anything to take down her story writing a lot of people have been asking if i was paid to take down the post Kylie didn't pay me a single dime, just apologized. Maybe I should have asked for what, $5,000? Since it would have been a drop in the bucket for them as a billionaire. But honestly, I was low key afraid of what people who have not cakes are capable of. Love, and I just wanted to get back <laughs> to the not possible. because it's hella time consuming. I did see some people say that this actually might make brands and celebrities afraid to work with Yip Studio no. after seeing how all of this played out. No. From them showing Kylie's team's messages yeah, and really leaking the, the perfume here. designs, all because they reached out for a quote and decided not to move forward. As for Kylie's perfume, she did end up officially revealing it and it's going to be called Cosmic. And people Cosmic. on TikTok who got the perfume early oh, it's already are out? already doing reviews. Fragrance and I have it. Look how beautiful this bottle is. The fragrance is That's called a cute Cosmic bottle. and it has notes of star jasmine, blood orange, golden amber, how do red know? peony, vanilla musk, cedarwood. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. People be doing a little too much for me, y'all. Like, come on, let's not even be doing too crazy. You know what? I can't lie because I be doing it with people I like. Okay, let me stop being funny because I really could be doing that. I don't know if I'll get it though. I'm not a big, like, perfume, perfume person. Like, especially with these celebrity perfumes. I don't want to break out from stuff. Maybe I'm, I'll, I'll probably get it, but like, it'll be some over some time. Once I make sure, like, every, after everybody else review it and do their reactions on TikTok and stuff, once I see there, there's no, um, there's no, like, irritations in the skin, that it smells good. It is a cute bottle. I like that. But make sure that there, it's like, if somebody spray and they break out, if I see one of them, I'm not getting it. So, yeah, we'll see. Finish. We have to do a first impression. So there's it's a, a cute ball bottle. The top and it's slightly pink. Okay, I literally can't wait anymore. We're just gonna go in. Go spray it. And let's what see. Is like? Oh my goodness. Wait. This is so 
beautiful it's like super floral and very fragrant like this is definitely going to be a beast fragrance like it's going to last you all day so it looks like this hmm. drama hasn't affected the launch of kylie's perfume and hopefully the drama doesn't affect amy's business either I don't it think sounds it like she learned from what happened business. and like she said going forward like she's though. going to make sure that she always gets some kind of deposit before moving forward yeah, with so. anything. anyway guys okay y'all yeah i don't think it'll hurt her business she's it's just that's a business move now you just have to make sure you make sure you get a consultation fee especially when it's a big client and make sure they pay before so you don't waste your time and like cut out other stuff for this job yeah y'all i don't think i'm i would get the perfume but i'm gonna just wait till like a lot of people tested it <laughs> i'm waiting till a lot of people test it before i try anything because i ain't trying to break out but the bottle is cute you know what hopefully this was sticks because you know Callie has been doing like a lot of stuff and then she like it, is she still doing the clothes you know the leather i feel like it, it was there and then i stopped hearing about it just like her bathing suit that girl get out billionaires you get off one star one thing get off the other what money makes you do because it's like how <laughs> how but yeah it wasn't that bad i think i said enough of what i um wanted to say in this video the cakes are gorgeous oh my god but like they i definitely think it's on both of their ends they should have never backed out so late because like this girl was like making the cake for y'all but at the same time girl people are people are not ob obligated to stay with you and that's why you need to have this stuff um confirmed at the beginning so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments let's do some more reactions at night it's nice in here my dog is asleep over here on the floor it's relaxing i'm gonna have to go make some cinnamon rolls i think y'all so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video